Um, yes? Then you can make these things go away? I wish I was tough like you. I'm getting out of here. Leave me alone! Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. So long. Over here. Well, that's over.
over here. Now, wherever you are.
Good to see you. Please, God. Any trouble in this area? Nice to see you. Charmed to meet you. I'm Vera Weatherly of the Weatherly Hotel. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. Oh, that's wonderful! If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Only 120 caps. You won't get a better deal than that. That sounds like a deal. Out in the hallway, turn left. First door on your left. That's your room. Farewell. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Lost? Hey, what's up? Is something wrong? Fine. Well, okay. Just don't forget about me. You came back like you said you would. Did you find me a home? <clears throat> yeah.
this area? No, I haven't seen anything. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know if... Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's daughter, aren't you? What are you doing here? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me, this has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, I know he was going there. Perhaps there's some indication of what he was up to. Did you find any notes? James was always taking notes. Recordings, holotapes, that sort of thing. Go back and search for something like that, if you're so determined. I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? James? He was very driven, determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Yes, your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. Yes, well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Okay. I'm quite sure I don't know. Why don't you ask him that? What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I, we worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. 
The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. You happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Project Purity was everything to us. It was the first thing we thought about when we woke up, the last thing we talked about before sleep. Some of us changed over the years, but apparently James hasn't. This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. That idiot? <laughs> he left so long ago, most folk don't even remember him. He claimed to have found a secret stash of technology somewhere in the ship. Then he just disappeared. Good luck finding your father. About to run away, robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my daughter is a grown woman, beautiful, intelligent, confident, just like her mother. And as hard as it was to admit it, she doesn't need her daddy anymore. So, here I am, back where it all began. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. Well, so for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. I am to visit Madison at Rivet City. I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, making real, tangible, scientific progress. Here I come again, a very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine... God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. 
those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after, after a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe with his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called GEC, the Garden of Eden creation kit. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives. And your constant interruptions are interfering with the And don't you dare leave me alone. Good to see you. Hey, what's up?
What's up? Is something wrong? Okay, I guess. Bye. Wrong? I guess this is goodbye then. Come back and visit me. Hello.
not hit me yet. That's different. I was driven up by my brothers. I tried to get them to understand that there was more to life than fighting, killing, but they wouldn't listen. Now I wander the wasteland, hoping to find some meaning to life before I die. I don't know. I've always called myself that. Maybe it was my name before I became this. Maybe I read it in a book a long time ago. Maybe you don't know where we come from. Super mutants, I mean. And we aren't born this way. We are created in the cold, dark, metal place where my brothers bring their captives, endlessly trying to make more of us. It was something I could not do. I tried to get them to stop, but they wouldn't listen. They would have killed me if I had not run away. I hope to see you again. I very much enjoyed our chat together. Thank you.
Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech-issued vault suit before proceeding. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please find the nearest Tranquility Lounger and be seated. Take a seat in the Tranquility Lounger. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is Tranquility Lane. We all live here, and now so do you. You do now. You live here until I say you don't. I know. Why don't we play a game? Going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. It'll be funny. Come on, you'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here, and we'll talk some more. There, I'm Timmy. Want to play? What did I do something bad? I won't want the bed again. I promise. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no!
could do it? Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. I was known as Dr. Stanislaus Braun, but here I choose this identity. Do you find it unsettling? In this place, I can choose to be whatever I wish, and this is what I have chosen. You will find that I control a great deal around here. Why not? I've been in this place for 200 years. This is something to keep me amused. Much like my willingness to entertain your questions. Though now I grow bored. So I think I shall set you to a new task. Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Well, hi there! You won't find a day like this anywhere else. Bye-bye. Good day to you. It's that Martha Simpson, isn't it? I knew it. That's it. I've had enough of Roger's lies and bullshit. How did it come to this? I just don't understand. So, you have achieved your goal. I was hoping for something a bit more dramatic, but persuasion appears to be your strong suit. And at least you are a cooperative, unlike your father. I was most disappointed when he refused to participate, yet still expected something from me. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Tranquility Lane was designed to be a home away from home. A new way of sustaining life after the apocalypse. Vault 112 was the prototype. We never had time to build others. As the designer of the simulation, I was given special access. Everyone else here is only subconsciously aware of the artificial reality around them. Their conscious minds accept it as fact. Oh, but there is. They continue to amuse me. That is purpose enough for their lives, don't you think? You are serving the same purpose after all. I do enjoy having someone new to play with. And speaking of playing, let's try a new game. Your sarcasm is unappreciated. This could be so much fun if you'd allow yourself to see it. Now, Mabel Henderson needs to die. Not just any death, mind you, but an entertaining, well-thought-out death. You'll see to that. Very simple. Plenty of opportunity to show me what you're capable of. Of course you will. And you never know. You might enjoy it. Good day. Hiya, kiddo. 
What's the good word? Yep, you've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. Nice place, real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Fond of her gadgets, she is. Heck, I can't count the number of times I've had to fix that newfangled robot of hers. I keep telling her to order some new parts. The motivator goes bad on that one, and she's going to have a real problem on her hands. Have a great day! estate is in tip-top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. The Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day.
around here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. This, all this, it's all fake. Made up a dream world, only the dream never ends. I want it to end for all our sakes. He keeps us here, so he can laugh and feel good about himself. But I know, I know what he's doing, and I know he uses the failsafe. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Good day.
see to it that Mabel meets an untimely and hopefully gruesome demise. Have you met Doc the dog? He's another new arrival, much like yourself. He might seem a bit <laughs> familiar to you, huh? Mabel's waiting for you. Well, hi there. Mabel? She's nice enough, I suppose. Bit of a gossip, maybe. And she never seemed too fond of my boy, Timmy. She was just complaining about his roller skates the other day. She said Timmy left them in her house and that they were dangerous. If they're so dangerous, why didn't she just bring them here when she came to complain about it? Bye bye. Hey there, little lady. How's it going? She sure loves baking her pies, always bringing them around, bragging about her fancy oven. I'm not one to turn down a good pie, but it gets a bit tiresome hearing her go on and on. Take care now. Good day to you. Yep. Well, hi there. Well, hi there. Roger and I don't spend much time with Mabel, frankly. She's a little nosy for my tastes. And I don't like visiting her house either. That robot she's got makes me nervous. She says it's perfectly safe, but something about it, it just makes me uncomfortable. Bye-bye. Did you want to look for a new robot? I know you're not comfortable with yours. No, no, I don't like robots. Don't like the one I have and don't want a new one. If I didn't rely on the thing so much, I'd just get rid of it. Really, Mabel, it's fine. 
There's no reason to feel uncomfortable. It's just another machine. Well, maybe you feel that way. I really don't like it. What if something goes wrong? It's perfectly safe, I'm sure. Everyone here has one, and no one's ever had a problem. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Mabel's a good friend to me. She's always interested in what's going on with my life, which is more than I can say for some people. I'll sometimes go over to her house and chat while she's baking. She really loves to bake. Uses that oven all the time. Have a great day. Well, hi there. Well, sure I can, sweetie. Let me just go light the oven to get it warming up. Good day. Why don't you go swing that somewhere else? Appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. I don't recall asking for your feelings on the matter. If it has not been made perfectly clear to you, I am in control here. I dictate your actions and the actions of those around you. You will continue to do exactly as I say or you will find yourself suffering from a sudden and inexplicable aneurysm. <laughs> and that's if I'm feeling generous. For now, though, you will become the pint-sized slasher. You will kill everyone in Tranquility Lane, and you will do this because I say so. Behind the abandoned house, in the doghouse, are a knife and a mask. You will use them to terrorize the residents of this quaint little street. He is a figure of myth. Born of old campfire stories, you will make him a reality. The residents will know you, and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. I am afraid you're not in a position to decide what they do or do not deserve. They are under my control, not yours. Now, if you're done attempting to change my mind, let's get on with your final task. After completing it, you will be free to go. Don't you have a few things you should be collecting? Get the knife and the mask from the dog.
a pint-sized slasher. Someone help me! It's the... Run! It's the pipe I sl... Commendable start, but you still have work to do. You have lots of work to do.
Run! It's a pint-sized sl- No! Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. Yes, yes. I suppose you've earned the right to do as you like. I shall miss your company. This has been a simply wonderful time. The door is now open. Through it you may return to the real world, and whatever inferior existence you have there. I've given you permission to leave. I suggest you take the opportunity before I change my mind. I'm even being so gracious as to allow your father to exit as well. His presence here failed to amuse me some time ago. I've given you permission to leave. afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you, but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes. What I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. That's my girl. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Of course, honey. What's on your mind? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. What? No, no, of course not. I just... This is important work. Clean water can change the lives of so many thousands of people. It's worth the risk to help them. I can understand that you're angry. You have a right to be. Perhaps the choice I made wasn't the right one. At the time, I thought I was doing what was best for you. For almost 20 years now, I've done everything I can to see that you have a good life. The vault wasn't perfect, to be sure, but it was the safest place in the wasteland. That's why I took you there in the first place. I didn't see it as abandoning you. I saw it as moving on, knowing you were safe. I hope that you could understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my daughter. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic. 
capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I, we lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years, but your mother, I've never lied to you about what happened, not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time, she was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Be careful, sweetie.
I'm sorry, but I am not at liberty to chat right now. So be it. enjoyed our chat together.
stay chill, dude. Don't mind me. I'm looking for troublemakers. People are in such a hurry. What can I do for you? Fair. I told you it would work, Madison. And now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone else? as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. You found him? I can't believe it! You have my thanks. We would be lost without James. No, of course not. I'm simply glad that our work can continue. James is essential to the project, that's all, really. I have faith in your father. With the knowledge he's gained, we stand a better chance than we ever have. Farewell. Hello, honey. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? That's my girl. It'll be good to work side by side with you, honey. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. Be careful, sweetie. Did you need something? Did you need something? Good to see you. Hey, be more careful. Is everything all right? Hello, honey.
One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river water. The ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get fresh water soon, Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Sure, sure. No matter that he disappears for almost 20 years, leaving us all hanging, it's not like we have lives or anything. Keep your hands to yourself in there. This equipment is fragile. Did you need something? Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. 